All right, all right. Happy Friday night. Made a rhyme right on time. Thanks for stopping by, my friends. So it's uh, Friday night, and I've been tinkering again. Check it out. Mega wall of storage here. I decided to go all storage along that wall over there. I have remodeled my battery box. I made it shorter, so you got all this open room to come in the side door here. And I brought my little cabinet back. So this floor plan is the most storage I've ever had, and it's still the most open floor I've ever had. So uh, let's jump up here in the recliner, turn around, and let's talk about it. Oh, man, look at all that space to get around in here now. Give you a shot out the side door. I guess the neighbors have put the dogs and the kids up. They were making a lot of noise earlier. But uh, so here we are. Guess what I got in this new cabinet? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. And that means I got a lot of storage when you got a cabinet with nothing in it. But don't worry, it'll be filled up. So, you know, my countertop space used to be right here, and it's been taken up with this big cabinet. So what I'm going to do is get a table. I'm going to build one or get a camp table, and it's going to mount here. And it's one of those kind you pull out when you need it, push it in when you don't. It's about 16 inches wide, just like the battery box, and 24 inches long, so it'll run from here to here. And it'll be about as high as 24 inches off the ground. So it'll come out about that high. Perfect for reaching over and cooking and making sandwiches and be a good place, you know, to use as you do traditionally for countertop space. Try to swing around and give you shots of everything. I've got it on widescreen, so it's a little blurry. There's my sink basins. I got three of them. I only need one, but they come in a set of three. And these are like 18 quart, perfect size. I mean, you can wash your hair in that, you know. Big as a regular kitchen sink. So uh, up here, let me flip up a little bit here. Come on, gimbal, right there. Right up in this area, I'm going to put a cargo net across here. I could put towels and stuff up there. That's another benefit. I didn't even think about, but I got extra storage space on top of the cabinet. Over here, I got my privacy panels for my driver and passenger window. And that white one is for the cargo window over here on the side on the left, over there. See, I keep this one in all the time. But this other one, I like the glass when I'm driving so I can see oncoming traffic when I'm trying to pull out on the street. Here, let's back on up and give you uh, more of a pan out shot. Yeah, this is this is the way to go here. So let's zoom in from the recliner, left to right. All the cabinets along this wall, the whole wall cabinets. Floor to ceiling, almost to the ceiling. Look at all this floor space for getting dressed, moving around in here, this is real important. You're in a van trying to get dressed. That way I can use the floor space, the seat, and the bed for moving around. Didn't move the fridge. The fridge is right here, still in the same spot. No need. I like it there. I use the top of it for the sinks, you know, keep them there. And uh, tomorrow, I'll be doing another demo of a portable solar panel. Yeah, uh, Stan the Man from VicOffRoad.com messaged me. He said, hey, Maddie, I saw you struggling with a portable solar panel in one of your older videos. He said, we got a new model. You want to do a review on it? And I said, well, send me the link. I'd like to see what's, what, what it's about. So he sent me the link, and as I'm reading, I think, this must be a misprint. So he's sending me a 200-watt panel. It folds down to a little pack that's like 12 by 15 inches. I thought, there's no way. Well, it came in when I got off work. I got over here to the house sitting gig, and it's sitting on the doorstep. And I opened it up. I can't believe this thing. You've got to see it. So I'll do a review on that tomorrow. And uh, I can't believe how it packs down. So 
such a good design and there's going to be a big surprise on the connections from the panel to the controller it's something like i've never seen before so i'm real impressed with these panels from vicoffroad.com we'll show you those tomorrow and uh we'll might put up another video on sunday you can see the the air conditioner in the back, I've already got it moved to the side, strapped to the wall over there. Right beside it's going to be enough room to put a propane tank. So I got a, a hose for my buddy heater, the 10-foot one. So it'll run from the propane tank back there, under the bed, it'll skirt around here, and the buddy heater will mount right here in the wintertime. So no more green bottles. You know, those things are $5 a piece now, where they were the last time I bought them. I still have a couple of them left from last winter. I'll use those up first. I know it's crazy. I'm already thinking about winter and it's August and it's 90 degrees and 90% humidity. But you gotta stay on top of things or else you'll never have mega storage. Mega storage. This is the best design yet. This is it. I think I'll stick with this one. What is this design number? nine or ten i lost track i've remodeled this van so many times but i think this is nine or ten best one yet let's zoom out and give you a parting shot yeah i like this shot right here coming in the side door so much room now to get in and out plus i'll have more room to put my buddy heater right there where i'm gonna have to be squeezing in and out of here <laughs> so thrilled with this design all right, guys, we'll catch up again uh, Saturday and Sunday for other videos. Let me clear this up a little bit. There we go. All right, thanks for stopping by. Take care, be well, and smash that bell.